How Human Milk Oligosaccharides Boost the Immune System Professor Ivan Vandenplas, head of the Pediatric Hospital at the University Hospital Brussels, spoke about this topic at the NNI Online Symposium, which was scheduled at the 6th World Congress of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition. Breast milk provides the optimal nutrition for infants and is associated with well-known short- and long-term health benefits for infants. Breast milk may influence immune responses through its bioactive immune-modulating components such as HMOs and or through its positive impact on the development of intestinal microbiota. In fact, there is growing evidence that certain HMOs in breast milk have an effect on baby's immunity. In an observational study, two linked fucosylated HMOs in human milk are associated with a reduced incidence of allergic diseases in C-section-born infants with high hereditary allergy risk at two years of age. The development of a healthy gut microbiome is vital for the development of adequate immune responses. Dysbiosis, however, induces qualitative and quantitative changes in the gut microbiota and have a direct impact on the immunological mechanisms that can lead to allergic diseases. The possible impact of gut microbiota on allergic diseases in young children have been already demonstrated in 1999. Children of two years old with allergy have significantly lower abundance of beneficial bifidobacteria and lactobacilli in the stool than non-allergic children. These differences in the gut microbiota composition amongst allergic and non-allergic infants were even present before any manifestation of the allergic disease. This suggests that changes in the gut microbiota composition are primary and not secondary to the allergic disease. How do HMOs work on immunity? HMOs directly modulate lymphocyte cytokine production potentially leading to a more balanced T-helper, or Th1 or Th2, response. Also, HMOs indirectly affect immune responses by stimulating the growth of beneficial bifidobacteria in the gut and related metabolic activity in a specific way. Several studies have shown that two fucosyl HMOs are associated with bifidobacteria that dominated early-life microbiota in breastfed infants, Specific HMOs boost metabolic activity of specific bifidobacteria, leading to immune protection. Overall, intestinal bifidobacteria seem to play a key role for our lifelong health prospects. Randomized clinical studies further provide promising first evidence that 2-FL added to an infant formula may reduce the risk of atopic eczema during the first four months in life. In the same study, immune responses of infants fed with infant formula containing 2-FL were similar to that of breastfed infants. In another randomized controlled trial, infant formula with two HMOs, 2-FL and LNNT, reduces the risk for reported lower respiratory tract infections and antibiotic use during the first year of life. Similarly, an extensively hydrolyzed formula supplemented with 2-FL and LNNT reduces the relative risk for reported respiratory infections and medication use in infants with cow's milk protein allergy. Can HMOs be used in formula for infants and children with cow's milk protein allergy? In double-blind, placebo-controlled food challenges, more than 90% of subjects tolerated the whey-based extensively hydrolyzed formula with 2-FL and LNNT confirming its safety and efficacy in infants and young children with cow's milk protein allergy. How does an infant formula with 2-FL and LNNT affect gut microbiota composition and possibly health? Infant formula with these two HMOs increases the relative abundance of bifidobacteria and reduces the percentage of potential pathogens in stool at three months of age. Interestingly, Infants with a high bifidobacteria-dominated gut microbiota community at three months less often require antibiotics in the first year of life. In summary, an observational study shows a low incidence at two years of age for IgE-associated eczema manifestation in C-section-born infants who were fed breast milk containing two linked fucosylated HMOs. In a clinical study, Significantly less infants with reported eczema are observed who were fed with an infant formula containing 2-FL, compared to the control group. 
A randomized, double-blinded, controlled, multicentric clinical trial shows that infant formula with two HMOs shifted stool microbiota diversity towards those of breastfed infants in the first months of life. Also, infants with a high bifidobacteria-dominated gut microbiota community at three months less often require antibiotics in the first year of life. The addition of HMO in infant feeding is a new, promising concept in allergy prevention and management.